Hi, Gemini. Welcome. So, Gemini, this is going to be your reading. I am going to start with the general spiritual messages, and then I'm going to go into the universe system love reading. I am time stamping this November because that's when I'm recording it, but my readings are timeless, so I just trust that whenever this finds you, that's when it's for you. So, I tried recording this reading um, a little bit earlier, and I just got so frustrated I almost felt like in this space where I was like, F it, you know, like, ugh, I don't know, like a very irritable energy. And I actually stopped the reading thinking like, well, maybe I didn't meditate long enough. I felt like I did because um, I wanted to make sure like this wasn't my specific energy that I was bringing in, but that it was actually what I was picking up through Gemini. Um, so I meditated again, quieted my mind again, and it came right back when I sat down to do the reading. So I don't know if a lot of you are just feeling like so freaking frustrated or over something, or you've got yourself in a tizzy over something, or maybe you're dealing with someone who's high strung. It feels like a high strung energy. This is temporary, right? Um, but it's interesting to me that it's coming through after the 1111 portal because the days preceding the 1111 portal felt so uh, sluggish almost. And then things kind of picked up the pace as we go into this week. And so you may be feeling a little bit of that as well. Uh, things picking up the pace. But I almost just feel like you're not really on board with it right now. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just like, hmm. Yeah, so I'm also getting messages about travel plans, okay? So, and as I look down, actually, I have the ninth house here, which is about travel. Um, this is temporary energy, but I also got the word delays. So just something to be aware of, okay? Don't get frustrated about that. If that is happening to you, like all will work out in the end. But I do feel a sense of like a delay in the energy and they're specifically bringing up that. So I also have um, this ninth house energy here, which is talking about your spiritual quest, your aspirations, a little bit of risk taking, um, which may be beneficial to you, Gemini. You know, maybe you need to kind of get out and travel a bit more or get out of the huge, you know what I mean? Some of you, the frustration is just coming from Needing a little bit of a change of scenery for a second, right? Or a change to your routine. It could be as small as that. Uh, it's funny because <clears throat> I was literally just thinking about this the other day. Um, actually, this morning about getting stuck in a rut. And I always surprise myself with like what minuscule little stupid things can pull me out of a rut. For instance, like getting a new um, air mattress for my bed. Pulled me right out of that rut <laughs> you know what I mean like sometimes it's not like oh, I need to change my whole life and shave my head and get a new partner you know sometimes it's just like the really small things that make the biggest difference you know like getting a new piece of jewelry or adding a different ingredient to my coffee you know it's like <laughs> We're actually, as human beings, so easy to please when we allow ourselves to be pleased. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, so let's see what else you have coming through for you, Gemini. The card of slowing down. Okay. Uh, silence. And we are the world. So I feel like, yeah, Gemini, there's this, there's this encouragement to slow down. At the same time, everything seems so, I don't know, chaotic almost. It could be difficult to slow down, but that's actually encouragement. So allow yourself to go at a bit slower pace to get some rest. This card talks about silence, but it also talks about healing and talks about sleep etc and then you have the card of we are the world this card is all about karmic completions right so let's go further and see then gemini what else do you have let's see what else do we have ace 
of Wands. Page of Cups. Hey. Let's see what else. The Empress. The Ten of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All of a sudden I'm sweating. Some of that. Yeah, a hot flash or something. All right. <laughs> Too young for that. Stop it. Okay, so I feel like Gemini, yeah. This is actually a really positive energy. This is like feeling inspired to go in a different direction, to open yourself up to new possibilities and new connections, to take better care of yourself and to also appreciate and love those that are nearest to you, particularly your family or very close friends. It's about regrounding yourself, refocusing yourself, not letting this messy energy impact you. Um, and I did feel it's like a temporary, uh, yeah, disruptive energy, but it is temporary. And I literally got the word static. That's kind of what it feels like to me. It's like, you know, right before you dial in the radio to the perfect station, well, just back in the days when we used to dial our radios, you know, sometimes you get a little bit of static and then you get it just right. And I feel like whatever the irritation is, it's the static, right? but you are dialing in to a better feeling space. So, um, and the more you slow down and the more you so give yourself grace and the more you quiet your mind, the better you're going to feel about all of this, Gemini, because a lot of this busyness is all in your mind, right? It's what you're lending your mind to. It's what you are giving focus to. So Ace of Cups. Wow. Two of Cups. Holy cow. The Emperor. What else? And the Four of Pentacles. So when it comes to love and emotions, I definitely see a very strong soulmate connection here. A lot of love surrounding this. Uh, they're giving me the song Father. Some of you, this is about your father or... Uh, if nothing else, a masculine energy is present here, whether that's yours or someone else's. But it's like, why is there this holding on energy though? Some of you feel like you're in a holding pattern when it comes to love and relationships or a specific relationship and, and or you're holding on to something that's not really that great for you. Some of you are holding on to like this back and forth struggle around a specific connection where I'm really, it's gonna get you. <laughs> okay, I have, uh, it's gonna get you, it's a matter of time. <laughs> Shania Twain, she's all over the internet right now, which I don't know what y'all haters are saying, but that woman looks amazing <laughs> i know like uh, just a side note she's like 20 all over tiktok and people are like oh her voice isn't the same well duh she had an illness and surgery i believe like it's a damn miracle the woman's even getting on stage and to top that off she looks amazing her body looks better than most 20 year olds i know what are you talking about <laughs> you go girl Shania, as if she watches my tarot. But if ever she does, like, you go, girl. Anyways, I wonder what her birthday is. It's that song, and <laughs> it's gonna get you. It's like I should get you good. <laughs> it's gonna get you. It's a matter of time. Hmm, what is that? Let's go further. What is that about? Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, Knight of Wands, whoa, the Wheel, what is the Five of Wands, the Star, really, 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 really. Some of you really struggle to like truly let go or heal something around a relationship or a connection. 
um, where I feel like, you know, other things got in the way or someone's ego possibly got in the way. Um, but there is healing available should you be open to it, but you got to be open to it. You know what I mean? And so that part's largely up to you. Now, I feel like there's also this insistency in the energy to work on yourself, Gemini, and to put your focus there on self and what you're currently blessed for, you know, so many beautiful things here for you to focus on that it's hard to believe you would choose this one topic that's maybe a struggle for you to over focus on but that's the source of irritation that's where the source of irritation is coming from it's from not soothing yourself around that situation some of you feel like you need to get back at someone or get back to someone okay um <laughs> Some of you are really, really contemplating, you know, maybe while you're at work or while your body is busy, you know, like say you're cleaning, but you're actually in your mind and playing out a scenario. That's kind of what I feel that you're doing. And it's like playing out a scenario over and over and over again and what you would communicate and how you should act and there's like this back and forth in and out energy around this and there's also divine timing here and there's a lesson to be learned around this. Um, there is also this message about working on openly communicating Gemini, which I don't feel like you're a sign that has difficulty with that, but um, possibly or it could be about somebody being able to openly communicate with you and that being some sort of hindrance or blockage i just get a lot of inconsistency you know what i mean like it's here it's there it's not here you know like in out up down this could be your energy as well um or the person you're connecting with but there's definitely something you're really struggling to let go of and you know that you need to let go of it in order to feel better but damn it isn't it just so hard sometimes to do that <laughs> um so it's like when you're feeling good, it doesn't feel difficult at all. But when you're in an irritable space, for some reason, this topic always comes to mind. And it's like time to soothe whatever that energy is because there's so much love here and there's so many things to be grateful for. And I actually feel like you're in this really good space right now where, you know, where you're finally strong enough to let go of something that you've struggled to release. You know, we never hold on to things quite as much as we do when we really, really, really care. You know what I mean? If you don't really care very much, you tend to not hold on to it. You know what I mean? A stranger hurts your feelings, it might hurt for the moment, but chances are you're going to let it go and move on with your life. You know what I mean? Now, if your lover hurts your feelings, not so easy to let go. What's the difference? The difference is the amount of love, the amount of care, right? So I guess there's this reminder here is that it hurts because you care and you care for a reason. So there needs to be a little bit of like exploring around that. I can't do this for you through a tarot reading nor would I even want to. But like, if you care for a reason, then you need to start asking yourself why that is. You know what I mean? Like, um, how can you feel differently about this? You know, how can you soothe 
yourself or a situation or a partner, you know, um, because you're not going to be able to just wake up and stop caring. You know what I mean? And nor would you really want to. It's not the caring that's the problem. It's the resistance around it. It's the needing of something to be different that causes the pain. It's the perception. Because some people would say, how can I love that person when they don't even talk to me and they're not in my life anymore? And it's like, well, love is never about what's physically in front of you. You know what I mean? How can you love the stars? You'll never touch a star, but you can still love them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, love is uh, an energetic act. And um, you can love anything and anyone in your mind and in your spirit without restriction. Think about it. Anyways, once you understand that, it's freeing. And really, that's all that you need. All you need is a small pivot to your perception of something. And it will create soothing. And then you can focus on the things that are most important to you. I hope this is making sense. I didn't mean to get all whatever. <laughs> Sentimental, but that's how I feel it coming through. Okay, so this says, why do I want the relationship I want? Think about what you want in a relationship and why you want it. Look for those around you who are experiencing good relationships and feel appreciation for them. Make lists of the positive aspects of those good feeling relationships you have spent time with. Sorry, I have the hiccups all of a sudden. In fact, one of the fastest ways to make your way to a wonderful relationship is to find any subject that consistently feels good, even if it has nothing to do with relationships, and focus there. So, wow, very interesting guidance here for you, Gemini. I'm super interested to go into the love reading and see what else we have coming through. So, let's get to it, shall we? I'll see you in just a second. Welcome back. All right, so now we're going to go into the you versus them reading. I'm going to go back and forth between you and the person you may be connecting with. Keep in mind it is a general reading, so don't force it to resonate. If it resonates, take it. Um, you could flip the roles as well, and let's go. So, Gemini, you have the card of Ascendant and the card of the Sixth House. This is Virgo energy here. Some of you may be connecting with that or have it in your chart. But this is all about your worldview, your mission statement, how you express yourself, the effect you have on other people as well. And also talking about diet, health, your well-being, uh, your daily habits, which is interesting because that came up in the spiritual portion of the reading as well. So let's see what your crowning energy is then. You have the card of ordinariness. Whoa, and this person has aloneness and nothingness Isn't that an interesting connection see now this card of ordinariness can be viewed in two ways it could be a very boring every day is groundhog's day type of vibe or it could be very soothing very comforting nice to have predictability in your life right so it's all about perception, Gemini. How do you want to see it? You know, you, you, it's like needing to be comfortable with the ordinariness. Yeah. So think about that. Some of you have been so in this space of maybe feeling like you know you need to try this try that do this be there be there and that you haven't allowed yourself to i guess enjoy normalcy nothing you know like you know you might actually get like the most pleasure out of the days where you just do nothing <laughs> It's funny because this person has the card of nothing. Maybe you both like to do nothing together and everything all at the same time. Who knows? But 
see now theirs comes with a little bit of loneliness so I feel like there's this weird contradiction here where like one of you is fine with the ordinary and one of you actually finds it lonely or boring or whatever and then it's like there's a difference in perspective but sometimes that's swapped between the two of you as well i'm sorry this is super specific so let's get into this and see where this is headed okay so recent past energy what led up to the now for my gemini's the Death card, the Six of Cups, and the Four of Wands. And the Queen of Swords. So I feel like there's a sense of nostalgia here as well, Gemini. And yeah, the past showing up as well. Um, the past rearing its ugly head is what I heard. I feel like there is change endings and transformations coming through but i feel you being on edge about this you know almost feeling a little uncomfortable at times or and i got the word protective as well um some of you are going through like changes within your family or a relationship and it feels There's a sense of discomfort here, but it's almost like, you know what I actually kind of feel? Like you're kind of defending your right to choose or your right to change or maybe possibly defending your partner or your family in some way. So let's see this person's recent past for Gemini. Queen of Wands, Nine of Wands, the Emperor, and the Eight of Swords. So yeah, there's that protective defensive energy showing up on this person's side. I feel like <laughs> the song Mr. Boombastic in my brain right now. Not sure that's appropriate for this reading. <laughs> Um, <laughs> thank you for leaving it. This person has like this very fiery nature about them, and yet they're not somebody you really want to piss off. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like this person could be quite argumentative, quite defensive, um, especially when they themselves are in a place of stress or in a place of hurting. Um, you know how, like, when some people hurt, their go-to is like crying. When others are hurt, their go-to is like anger. You know what I mean? Like, it for me, um, like, well, I'm a triple air sign, but when I get genuinely hurt, for some reason, it comes out as, I don't wanna say, Like as, a, as opposed to me expressing my hurt as hurt, it comes out like the queen of swords. I know you know what I'm talking about, Gemini. <laughs> it, it doesn't come out soft or sad. It comes off <clears throat> very to the point, blunt, might hurt your feelings, might cut your head off, not sure, you know. <laughs> Cold, detached, because there's a difference between like the way, say a fire sign would act angry or it's more about passion and intensity, but with us air signs, it's more of like this very cold energy. And I know you know what I mean. <laughs> so I feel you have brought that out in each other in the past. So how do you see each other in the now? How does they, Gemini see this person? The Seven of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, The Fool. Some of you feel like this person has missed out on an opportunity, or maybe you feel that way. Um, it's 
So yeah, I feel like this person definitely has their guard up or maybe you are behaving that way. Um, and yet there's a sense of loyalty here and yet there's a sense of immaturity as well. So it's, it's a bit of a mixed bag. I feel like things are coming full circle. Uh, there is some sort of completion and karmic lesson here as well. Um, so let's see how they see you. And this keeps coming up too. Like, I feel like there's defensiveness. I feel like somebody feels like they need to defend their right to make some sort of decision here. Listen, Linda, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Although if your name is Linda, whatever. Um, hello. <laughs> For some reason, that's what I wanted to say. Listen, <laughs> you don't have to, you don't have to explain your reasoning for anything to anyone. I know like, it's, I'm not saying be mean about it. I'm not saying be disrespectful about it because you could do it respectfully. You can choose you in a respectful and loving way is what I'm saying. Without feeling the need to justify or reason or help other people understand, you know, why you think the way you think and why you do what you do. Like, it's not for them to understand. Most won't understand and that's fine. You know, as long as you understand you, that's all that really matters, Gemini. So, <clears throat> Ace of Pentacles, the High Priestess, the King of Cups, and the Star. So, I feel like this person actually sees you in high regards. You know, there is a sense of loyalty is here. This person may feel very intuitively connected or emotionally connected to you. Um, there's definitely a strong bond here. There's definitely a strong sense of connection here. I mean, to the point where it could be like you sense each other, you, you feel each other, even when you're not physically around each other. Um, I feel like this person wishes well for the connection or for you. Um, and may have like trade for healing or manifestation of something within the connection. So it's actually quite beautiful. Let's see what's going on emotionally then. Underneath it all, how is Gemini feeling? The Seven of Pentacles. The Five of Cups. Ten of Cups and the Moon. And I also got misunderstanding. So somebody's misunderstanding something. Oh, there it goes about mis misunderstanding. Oh, I'm feeling so annoyed about that. <laughs> you ever feel like somebody purposely misunderstands you? Ooh, that's what it is. Ooh, that's so irritating, isn't it? Where, where you know you expressed yourself clearly and you know that they get it and you know that they heard you, but then they act like they didn't understand you or they act like they didn't hear you. You know, my children do this to me sometimes. <laughs> Some of you could be a child, but doesn't have to be, you know, where I'll be like, hey, take out the trash. And I know that, you know, my son can hear me. He's like three feet from me, you know, but he just stays steady, like clicking his computer. And, uh huh? Huh? I was standing right here. What are you talking about? I know you heard me. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> so frustrating. Anyways, <laughs> some of you, it's like, yeah, maybe you're frustrated with your child, but also could be this person, you know, or maybe you do that. I mean, own it if you do. And that's really like lighthearted under misunderstandings, but it could be deeper than that. It could be like somebody purposely misunderstanding your, what, like say you express your emotions and then they twist it. That's a whole different level and can be toxic. So be careful. <clears throat> because I do feel like there is a drain on your emotions. It's like you're plugging away and you're trying to count your blessings and you have so many to count. But also your emotions kind of getting the best of you or the sense of feeling drained as well. So let's see this person. The lovers. King of Wands. 
page of pentacles and the king of swords so again very strong connection here you're showing up in this person's heart space i feel like there's a magnetic draw here um this person thinks about you know the growth or the potential of the connection um And how are you going to know, Gemini? How are you going to know this reading is absolutely for you? <clears throat> because there will be action that follows this. So, you know, this is one of the things that I think it can be sticky about tarot is like people will watch it and they'll be like oh that resonates and so they you know are waiting for this person to take action or to come back or whatever whatever and then they don't and then month after month after month they watch the readings and that makes them feel connection and then they wait and then nothing happens and let me tell you this <clears throat> If something is meant to be, it will be, and you don't have to keep rehashing it in your mind. In fact, rehashing it pushes it further away. But also, you know, it doesn't matter how someone feels if they are not willing or able to act on it and to show up in an appropriate way, period. Right? So it's like, I don't know why I'm feeling compelled to talk about this because I love that you guys watch my tarot readings, but I also want to make sure that you're doing it in a healthy way. So like, you know, there's a reason that they say actions speak louder than words. So if this is your reading and this is your guy, your girl, whoever, you know, they're going to do more than just think about it. They're going to act on it. Right? Let's go into the most likely outcome, Ten of Pentacles. <clears throat> Where is this headed for Gemini? You know what I mean? Like somebody could really intend well and love you, but never actually show up for you in a way that you deserve. Does that mean you should put your life on pause and wait? No, sometimes you gotta take things for face value, right? Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. So again, there's this insistence to work on your sense of stability, your sense of security, to hone in on your own spiritual self. Um, very intuitive energy showing up. And then also there is <clears throat> this grounding energy coming in where I feel this is about self-work and, and developing skills as well to establish self. And that being really key to you feeling a sense of security and not placing your security in the arms of someone else, you know, like it's nice to have that sense of support and security from others, but you never want to put yourself in a place where you depend on that in order to feel good because now you're codependent, you know, so it's about establishing that first within yourself and then others are just you know further support right so there's this big message here i'm sorry about my dog about self-sufficiency self-dependency about allowing yourself to feel your emotions things are coming full circle there's karma here let's see what this person intends to do next <clears throat> six of cups Yeah, my dog is really going crazy. Uh, <laughs> Six of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. 
So yeah, see the reason why I brought up the action thing is because none of these cards talk about action. I'm gonna get one more. Ooh, it's the eight of wands. So like, you know, this person is contemplating, they're feeling, they are thinking, they are, you know, whatever, whatever, but I don't see action. You know, I see a lot of contemplation. And that's why I tell you, like, action does matter. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so I feel like this person themselves is feeling nostalgic, almost a little bit stuck in the past. And it drains them as well. I, I feel like they have maybe even some regrets, okay, about their past that they hold on to. But it is a hindrance to them and it keeps them from moving forward and taking action and, you know, in a way that is meaningful. Um, this person is being encouraged to move forward from something and to stop holding on to the past, right, in order for them to fully accept what is in their now moment. There is the Eight of Wands, which is like this fast movement forward, but I feel a sense of hesitancy around it, um, which is interesting because they look at the connection so positively, you know, nothing negative in the cards in that way. But then, you know, at the same time, like there's things that they need to let go of and they're, they're also needing to establish that sense of security within themselves, just the same as I said to you, right? That needing to be like a focal point for this person. I've never heard my dog bark this much. <laughs> so yeah, Gemini, that's what I have. Hold on, just one. Sorry about that. Um, my dog was going crazy. <laughs> So let's see what the guidance card is for you, Gemini, um, and close it there. So what is the guidance for my Gemini? Guidance for Gemini and their cross watcher. I want to say too, like, oh my gosh, there's so much weird energy in the air right now. It's been almost difficult for me to complete this reading. <laughs> Lots of distractions, you know. That one flipped. It says, should I leave or should I stay? Very interesting. 42 is the number of the card. Breaks down to the number six. It is very empowering just to discover that your patterns of thoughts do not have to follow your current situation. And therefore, your current situation on all subjects can change. We do not recommend taking the physical action of leaving a relationship without deliberately coming into thought alignment with the new desires that have been born out of your current relationship. And then whether you stay or whether you go, you can have exactly what you desire. Wow, so some of you, um, it's a matter of like staying where you're at energetically or changing something and or possibly leaving. So advice to consider if that is you. Um, zodiac signs that you could be connecting with or have in your own birth chart. I have um, Scorpio energy, Leo, Gemini energy, your energy, Aries. Mm, I have Aquarius, fell over here, Pisces, Scorpio again, and more Aries energy and Virgo energy. But take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it did resonate, do let me know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to give me a like, share, and subscribe if you haven't yet. So you can find me on Facebook and Instagram for more fun stuff. I do have videos and content over there. I also have a video that I did live with my mom on Halloween, um, which my mom makes incredible, uh, I can speak, incredibly beautiful wreaths. Check them out. She's on Etsy. The link is on my Facebook. But also on my Halloween live, I had a little surprise and my boyfriend asked me to marry him. So I'm engaged. Yay. And you can check that live video out on my Facebook, Tarot Time with Dana, linked below, as well as in the about section where you can find the donation link. If you'd like to donate, you can do so there. Otherwise, I'm wishing you the very, very best. And until next time, friends. Namaste.